Mike! Oh, Mike! Oh, Mike! Finally! About damn time! Despite some heavy snow the day before, I noticed on the Prospect Lake webcam that a lot of shoreline had opened up. So I thought I'd go down and try a new spot. By the time I got to the lake, however, the spot I wanted to fish was occupied. Well, we're not getting stuck. At least you are. I decided to walk down the shoreline a ways and try another spot that was a little sheltered from the wind. I chose wrong. My friend Bill joined me and we went for hours without a bite. But I was too lazy to pack up all my gear and find another spot. I kept telling myself, they're gonna start biting any minute now. Bill tried a different spot, but didn't have any better luck. As the sun started going down, I started worrying that I might actually get skunked. That hadn't happened in a long time. And I know it's no big deal to get skunked, but I just wanted to keep the streak going. Finally, I started getting some timid little bites, like fish were grabbing the bait for a second and then dropping it. I didn't have time to set the hook. I waded out into the water to try and get a quick hook set on one of those timid takes. When my bite alarm finally rang out. On that rod, I had pack bait on a feeder and Brazil nuts, which I had shaved down to a smaller winter bait size on a hair rig. I was also using a smaller hook and spike to accommodate smaller baits. The big carp I caught a week ago ate a whole Brazil nut. But when the bite is tough, I always go small to better my odds of catching something. I ended up catching two more fish before dark, but I don't think I'll be putting a pin on this location. At least I didn't get skunked. There's plenty of open shoreline at Prospect if you want to take a break from ice fishing. So good luck out there.